Being a writer, I obviously love to be surrounded by books, although, as my kids like to joke, quite a lot of your own books, Dad. <laughs> and I, I don't really have an answer for that, except obviously it's nice to be surrounded by your own work. So we've got a lot of stuff here. This is Shadow Dancer. This is the hardback first edition of my first novel, published in 1998. I had the idea of walking down the Falls Road in 94. Had to write about 740 million drafts in order to get it past um, my agent, Mark, who is a genius, but a hard taskmaster, and I learned an awful lot about writing through this and that. But I'm surrounded by a lot of my books here, and I have various favourites. I probably ought to just mention this. When I wrote Shadow Dancer, I was very inspired by Gerald Seymour, who'd been a reporter in the years before me with ITN and had gone on to be a massively successful thriller writer. And he really sweet me, uh, sweetly, after Shadow Dancer was... Uh, published, sent me a first edition copy of his first novel, which he'd written as an ITN reporter, set in Belfast, Harry's Game, um, and he signed it to me. I'm surrounded here not only by my books, but my research, which I keep. I always tend to make notes about, so this is, let, let's start with the White Russian. Why did I write a book set in St. Petersburg in 1917? Well, mainly because I suppose I'm always fascinated by societies on the cusp of great change and people caught up in them and I just love the idea of a city detective in St Petersburg just on the cusp of revolution trying to do his job solve a murder whilst the whole world about him is falling to bits and everyone who's supposed to be loyal to the state is busy reneging on that loyalty in every way just that I love that as a concept and he's the black sheep of his aristocratic family so once I have an idea, I guess I start researching and working and I kind of make all my notes in a notebook like this, which I always keep. I work very closely with my wife, so we always talk about everything. She's brilliant on story and character development and editing. So we talk it all through and then we make notes. Obviously, I keep some of the research. For the St. Petersburg novel, I read an awful lot. I did a lot of reading of memoirs written by people of the time. And it's interesting actually reading the memoirs just for the Russian Revolution you get the clear sense that everyone knew something catastrophic was about to happen. And that all builds up to the great moment when you, you get the novel in your hands. And I love this cover. I think it's a really evocative and wonderful one. So this is The Master of Rain. These are some of the books I, I kind of read when I was researching it. Just the most fascinating, wonderful setting for a thriller everyone ever invented. As with all my other novels, I kind of make really detailed notes, talk about it with my wife, we debate it endlessly, characters, development and so on. And this was the final result, two wonderful covers. This was the British version, love the gold. Bit of a theme, because this was the American version. And I've actually got various, around the house I've got these sort of covers done up when they were done up as posters and so on, because I love them so much. Being published, Abroad, it's strangely lovely, people translating work. This is the Japanese edition. I couldn't get over the fact that I'd had a, a novel published in Japan. It just seems so cool. And of course, it's, you know, you read it in a totally different way, and I can't decipher anything about it, but I thought that was brilliant. When I was Asia correspondent, I was regular friends with the BBC Asia correspondent at the time, Matt Fry, who now works for Channel 4 News, and is a good, very good friend of mine. When my first novel, Shadow Dancer, was published in Germany, much to the mortification of the German publishers. They managed to spell my name wrong on the front. <laughs> it is Tom Brady Schattentanzer. And Matt Fry, when he came around to dinner one time in Hong Kong, he, he picked this off the shelf and he just thought, because he's German by origin, he thought this was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. I'm a... Every time I saw him around Asia, he'd go, ah, Tom Brady Schattentanzer. Anyway, What's particularly funny about it is I now get confused on social media all the time for Tom Brady, the American football player. Anyway, all of this brings me to the main event. 25 years of writing um, have really been building to this. This is a novel I just loved the idea of. A young woman working for MI6 is running an intelligence operation and she finds herself overhearing a group of Russian intelligence operatives discussing that the fact that the British Prime Minister has prostate cancer and is about to resign, which no one knows, back in the UK, and that one of the leading candidates to replace him is a Russian agent of influence or spy. I can't imagine where I got that idea from. Anyway, it's the best idea I've ever had. It, kind of whole idea for the novel came fully formed into my head, and I sat down and wrote it quicker than I've ever written anything else, and that's what it's all about.